Hi everyone, for those watching the video and who have not yet read the accompanying article, which you can find in the description, this video will showcase how to configure and use the alert integration in Home Assistant. In simple terms, the alert integration is designed to alert you when there are issues that may require your attention, such as windows doors being left open or some devices at home having low battery. In my opinion, the best usage of it is when something has happened or is happening that cannot be autonomously solved by Home Assistant. I mean, I don't think I'm going to use this integration to remind me that the living room light has been left turned on. I don't need such a repeating notification because Home Assistant can automatically turn it off when I'm away without alerting me. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to configure the alert integration to remind you as soon as a Z-Wave or Zigbee device has low battery. Are you ready to start? To correctly set up the alert integration for low battery devices, I utilize two different sensors, one to track the number of devices with low battery and another to list them. Please refer to the video description for more details. Before proceeding, it's important to highlight that the alert integration is well designed to monitor entities with states such as on or off, e.g. binary sensors. While further developments or improvements may arise in the future, as of today, this is an important aspect to consider. With that said, to ensure the proper functioning of the alert integration, we need to create a binary sensor as well. This binary sensor state, as you can see, is directly tied to the state of the sensor responsible for tracking the number of devices with low battery. As mentioned earlier, this binary sensor will be utilized by the alert integration as the entity to monitor. Now let's see how to configure the alert integration. This is the entity, the binary sensor created before, being monitored by the alert integration. As soon as the state of the entity monitored becomes on, some devices are running low battery. The alert integration will start to send the following notification, composed of fixed text, plus the list of the devices with low battery to my smartphone. The notification will be repeated every X minutes according to this setting. The skip first parameter controls whether the notification should be sent immediately or after the first delay based on repeat values. According to documentation, the can acknowledge parameter should control whether the notification can be acknowledged set to false if the alert should not be knowledgeable. I've conducted some tests and even when this parameter is set to false, it's still possible to acknowledge it. Perhaps I didn't fully understand how it should behave, or maybe there are some bugs. Feel free to share your thoughts about it in the comments section. The last parameter, done message, allows to configure and send a notification as soon as the alert condition goes off, idle state of the integration. Well guys, that concludes today's video tutorial. You can type the code from the screen for free, but to help you save time and avoid making any mistakes. I have created a package for this so that you can set up everything super easily. You can download the pack for the price of a coffee through the coffee link in the description. In the meantime, you are supporting me to keep this channel alive. I truly hope you have found this video helpful. To stay ahead with the latest tips, tricks and in-depth guides, ensure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. By doing so, you'll be the first to know about my upcoming video tutorials. Thank you for being a valued part of my community.